Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Bath & Body Works candle haul. Um, Bath & Body Works candles were 2 for 22 this weekend, so I decided to pick a bunch up. I bought 18 candles. Now, I also did a big body care haul, too, but I'm actually going to make that a separate video because this is going to be long enough to begin with. So, two you already know a whole lot about. I just wanted to pick some more up because they're just so awesome. Is a Bahama Fizz, which... You know how amazing that one is. And this one says, The fragrance of a bohemian cocktail with a lively calypso beat that features island pineapple, banana, and fresh kiwi notes. And this smells so good. I get a really strong banana. That's what I get first. Then I would say there's that really good kiwi scent that I love from Bath & Body Works. Mmm. So, I really, really love Bahama Fizz. It's a great tropical scent. Then, I got a Tiki Beach. And, this one says, A scent as warm as sun rays, a luxurious blend of toasted coconut, vanilla musk, orchids, and resort glamour. Now, if you guys can see this. Do you see how there's like those lines from the label and it's bubbly? driving me nuts. I should have looked before I bought this candle, but oh well. To me, this just smells like a toasted coconut and suntan lotion. To toasted coconut suntan lotion. Incredible. I love Tiki Beach. It's another great just all around summer scent. Then, those were the only two, like the summery line that I got. Then I got an espresso bar. And uh, this one says, in Italy, you never take your coffee to go. Instead, you stop and savor the aromas of roasted espresso beans and sweet vanilla froth that inspire this fragrance. And I smell, it's like walking into a Starbucks store. You're smelling all the different drinks being made and then a lot of vanilla. That's how I picture this. And I actually purchased two of these because it smells so good and I figured this is good to burn anywhere I mean especially the kitchen but I think anywhere this would be a really good scent then I bought gelato and it's a really pretty pretty picture a, a creamy sweet blend of raspberry and strawberry with an effervescent spun sugar finish becomes the perfect fragrance indulgence bravo bravo and these wicks do not look good, so hopefully the burn on this isn't bad. Um, to me, this reminds me a lot of the Sweet Macaron candle from the Paris line with that, the French baguette, and Cafe Au Lait. It reminds me a lot of this, but a lot of that, but I kind of like this one better because it's not as sweet. But it's still sweet, just not nearly as bad as the other one is. Then, that was... The next one I actually bought two of as well, and this is the Limoncello. Is it Limoncello or Lemoncello? I've heard it both ways. I think Limoncello sounds much better, but I bought two of those, and one I didn't burn yet, and the other one I did. This is all burnt, and the throw on this was really, really good. This says, raise your glass to this fragrance inspired in, by Italy's beloved drink, Limoncello, with its notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and its hint of lemon zest. I get a lot of lemon. It reminds me of Yankee Candles Meyer lemon, but then there's something really, really different about it. I'm not getting a whole sparkle note like I thought I would. Like, you know, with a drinky sense from Bath & Body Works, you get like that sparkling note. Yeah, I don't get that, but it still smells incredible, and I'm so glad I got two of those. And, oh, no. Then, I bought a Sicilian Orange, and this one is my least favorite out of the whole Italian line, but it's still nice. This one says, and this is a long scent description. Sun-drenched Italian groves grow the sweetest and juiciest orange that inspired this glamorous citrusy blend of orange, Sicilian bergamot, sun-kissed lilies and mandarin blossom and to me it smells like a dirty orange yeah like a dirty orange um the only reason why i bought this was because i love oranges and i thought this would be great to burn in the kitchen 
Even though it's a dirty orange, I could burn this in the summertime when I'm not. I don't know. I'll burn it and see. Like, I'll burn it twice. And if I still like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll take it back. But I think I'll like it. I can't know until I burn it. It's just weird. Now, this is not weird. Tuscan herbs. Oh, my gosh. I might have to go back this weekend and buy some more. This says, aromatic herbs from the sun-drenched soil of Tuscany inspired this fragrance that blends fresh basil, parsley, and garden greens. And the wicks are awesome, too. They're long, thick, white wicks with that black center. Oh, every time I smell this, it just smells like an herb garden, like you're walking into an herb garden. Now, touch the fire twice, which he's awesome. I'll link his videos below. He said that this smells more like the basil. Yeah, the fresh basil. But to me, I, I do get that. That's do what, that is what I get first, but I do get a bunch of other herbs, like walking into an herb garden. I think this one is extremely good. I will be repurchasing this. I might actually buy this in the minis and this. Um, I might buy another three wicks, two mediums, and two of the smalls, and put like a big centerpiece in the middle of my dining room table and burn this because it's so good. And then the last one from the Italian line is Villa Bergamot. Now there is Ver Bergamot, Bergamot, but anyway, there is um one more which is Bellini Cafe. My store didn't get the three wicks in. They'll probably have it this week, so I'm definitely gonna purchase that as soon as that comes in. Aromatic bergamot grown in the warm and sunny Calab Calabria region of Italy provided this inspiration for this elegant citrus blend that also includes lavender and geranium. Um, this is like black pepper bergamot, but the summer version. In the fall, the black pepper bergamot was more like, right there, spice, right black pepper bergamot. This is, but it has like the sweet outdoors air notes to it, which really make it awesome with a little watery notes. So like I said, ooh, yeah, that's it. Summer black pepper bergamot. Yeah, I really like this. I, that just came to me right now. That's really good. Now, on to the new Lakeside Collection. That's what I'm most excited about. I bought eight from the Lakeside Collection, and these are all awesome. The first one I got was Boathouse Row. Let's see if this will focus there. This candle, every time I try to make this video, because I've made this video so many times, this one will not focus. And I'm going to try to have it focus for you. It does not want to focus. I don't know. Boathouse Row. Um, the fragrance of deep blue water surrounded by notes of moss, sage, and bay leaves captures the essence of a lakeside adventure. I don't even remember. My Oh, my computer died. That's why I re... You know, pause it. But did I read the description? Oh, you heard it twice. Um, this smells just like Yankee Candle's Turquoise Sky in the fact that it's cologne mixed with a bunch of water. I love that. Then, Lakeside, and look at how cool this picture is. It looks, it reminds me of, um, it's like a really cool sepia picture. It's these three little girls jumping in the lake. And lo just look at how pretty. I love, like, the sky and everything like that. It's a great scent, too. Jump into an invigorating blend of fresh water, sheer musk, and the perfect pop of citrus. This is Verbena Waters. If you remember Verbena Waters from last year, this is exactly it. Right here in another candle. It's great. Speaking of duplicates, mahogany teak wood. This one, the luxurious scents of fine woods, mahogany, cedar wood, and oak are enlightened by delicate lavender and geranium notes. Mmm. The wicks are those thick, wide wicks. This smells just like the Abercrombie and Finch. Abercrombie and Finch? Abercrombie and Fierce. The Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne. <laughs> there you go. Um, this smells super good. Love it. It's a random picture of a boat. I don't know. It smells awesome. The next one, I got two of, and one I'm already burned, and the other one I haven't. And this is Strawberry Pick Pick. A blend of red ripe strawberries, wild raspberries, and sweet buttercream frosting celebrates the very best part of a picnic by the lake. 
This smells just like strawberry buttercream from Yankee Candle. It's almost a complete dupe, but it's so strong. I burned this once. Amazing. Super strong. Stronger than the Yankee strawberry buttercream. Love it, love it, love it. And there's random white flowers. They do that a lot anymore on candles. It's like a random white flower. Then, summertime s'mores. And this one says, all the sweetness of summer's best treat is captured in the in this blend of roasted marshmallow, crackling campfire, and rich creamy vanilla. If you remember Marshmallow Fireside, you know how it's sweet vanilla marshmallow with a hint of, like, a uh, smoldering scent. This is all smoldering with a hint of marshmallow. I kind of like this better than Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, this is incredible, incredible, incredible. Mmm. It smells super, super good. Love it, love it, love it. I wish I would have got two of those, too. And then the last two, sadly, this is a 10-minute video, is two watermelon lemonade. And this smells just like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Mm -mm -mm. Same amazing black and white wicks. Amazing scent. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Um... I'm sorry I rushed in the end because I have so many, you know. So this was a like 11, 12 minute video. But anyway, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.